Hi guys, welcome to another episode from the Sophie's Choice Podcast Show. I'm really here today to inspire you to share your message in your own unique way, to get your message out there because the world is waiting for you. Enjoy this episode. Okay guys, I'm sitting at the swimming pool in Italy and I thought it would be nice to record a new episode about one of the topics that I'm really passionate about at this moment in time and I'm going to call it spirit marketing and I love that I love that title actually or yeah, do you call it title? I think you call it title spirit marketing because Marketing is not a bad word and a lot of people actually do tend to see it as a bad word, especially when you sort of um, engage yourself in a more spiritual setting. People tend to think of marketing as a bad thing, as a thing that you actually use to manipulate people and to get them to do something what they really don't want to do. And I'm, I'm not sure how you perceive marketing, but I really hear that a lot from people that follow me or are on a spiritual path themselves that they think about marketing in that regard or that way. And as I am evolving as a person and as an entrepreneur and as a, an, a spiritual teacher, so to say, I guess, um, I have come to the conclusion that marketing is an essential part of your business. It's an essential part that really, really, really needs to be taken seriously if you want to make a huge impact on the world. And I know a lot of the people who follow me are lightworkers like I am and are people who really want to make a big difference in the world with their mission in their own unique specific way and it doesn't mean that you have to get on stage like I do or write a book like I do but I know each one of you each one of the people who are listening want to make an impact in their own unique way and marketing is essential for that and that's the reason that's the number one reason why I started I think it was yeah it was two years ago I started my first high-end coaching um uh, yeah, trajek, you say in Dutch, I don't know how you call it, a uh, coaching program for like nine entrepreneurs at that time to really, really get them in touch with spirit, but also show them that marketing is not a bad word. And with all the new insights I have gained over the last two years and really, yeah, um, I wanted to say struggle, but yeah, sometimes it really did feel as a struggle. Struggle with the whole concept of marketing and how do you do that? How do you apply spirit marketing? And I really feel that I'm getting more and more to the essence of it and get more and more a clear concept of what spirit marketing means to me. And then recently I got some rules, some um, social media um, guides, guide rules or, or playing rules from Rose to really help me to be present on social media from a clear and specific energy. And it's so important that when you wanna make a big impact in the world, and you wanna really, well, change the world in your in your way with your techniques it's so important that the world gets to see you and um, but that you are also very clear in your energy and when you're all over the place it's really really difficult to make a huge impact so i've been sharing that in the dutch episodes and i might might also record an english episode about those rules one day but i really felt inspired to share this quick message with you guys um, the english podcasts tend to be a little bit shorter than the dutch podcast but there are very strong <laughs> messages and my strong messages or message from today is really to get clear in your energy and to embrace marketing and embrace that there is something called spirit marketing and i have discovered it I'm gonna share it on a in a bigger scale, I guess. Um, I don't know how yet, but I will share it in my own unique way and really get people excited about marketing, about spirit marketing, because there is nothing scary or strange or manipulative about marketing. It's getting people 
to notice you people are waiting to be found they are seriously waiting to be found and it's your job and it's my job to find those people so i'm not saying to everybody be present on social media but then again i am sort of saying it because social media in this day and age is the perfect tool to reach people instagram i just listened to an episode where they explained how many people are present right now at instagram it's a huge amount you don't have to be there for your own pleasure i am not on social media private like, like uh, privately personally i'm not present on social media but for my business i am and why because i truly truly know that the people who are looking for a solution that i can give them are there not because i want to make so much money um i i know that's just a side effect and that's that's inedible 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 you get it <laughs> that that will happen but i know those people are 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 longing something that i can give them and i know you guys all have a gift to share where people are actually waiting for and that can be huge or it can be something small it doesn't matter you have a unique talent that people are waiting for and it's your responsibility and it's your job to get out there and find those people in a clear and and determined way on in an authentic way not in a manipulative way but in an authentic way and reach them and let them see how you can really apply spirit marketing and how you can really be a a a spirit uh, a spirit living in a physical body with a conditioned mind how you can li lift the example be the person that people look up to and be like oh my god if she can do it or he can do it i can do it as well that's the stories that we get inspired by we do not get inspired by facts facts you can find anywhere everywhere if you google it anything can be found on, on, on google there is nothing you and i can share with the world that is not also something that you can find at google seriously everything you can find at google facts but my unique story cannot be found at google your unique story cannot be found at google and that is why I feel that such I feel such an urge to share my story because that is what is inspiring people. My story, my journey, and your journey is as inspiring as my journey is. So please, please get out there and share your message in your own unique way. Okay? Lots of love for now and speak to you the next time. Bye. If you like this episode, you would do me a great favor to rank this episode on iTunes so more people can find the show and start living the best version of their life. Thank you so much.